I didn't plan on being a writer of any kind, let alone a screenwriter or a producer or any of the things that I've become. When I was just out of college, I met a mentally retarded man who had been institutionalized for 50 years. And so he was now an old man and a dishwasher at this country club where my wife was a waitress. And he um, was the most charming human being I'd ever met. Um, but he couldn't read. He didn't know his last name. Um, he played the harmonica, which was his single greatest and proudest gift. But beyond that, he, he had a hard time functioning in this world. And I'm not sure why, but I just decided I could help him. And he had no family, and uh, he never left his little room uh, except to go to work. And um, he needed things like toothpaste. I mean, it wasn't hard for me to get into the first step of, of helping Bill. But um, as time went on, the relationship deepened, his dependence on me and, and an emotional kind of reciprocity took place where I, I felt good to be with him because, you know, you feel good when you're doing good. And, uh, and then we, my wife and I, were expecting a baby, and I had to get a real job, and we left the area. And later I went and got him because he was not functioning without me anymore very well. So I, in effect, kidnapped him, I guess. That's what the state said I did because he was a, you know, uh, the state had authority over him, and uh, and I wasn't in the same state. So, um, but I did that because I knew that he would have a better life, you know, with us. And he did, we moved he, we moved him and set him up in his own little place, and he made a job for him, and he and he had a wonderful life. Um, and one day I just decided to kind of write this down, I guess for posterity or my future grandchildren or something, whatever, I didn't know. And I gave it to friends and they passed it around and um, one day I got a call from a network uh, in New York saying they wanted to do a movie about this. And the next thing I know we're making a movie and the next thing I know I've won an Emmy and the next thing I know I'm doing the sequel and the next thing I know I'm doing a lot of TV and then I decided my first feature film would be in this same pool from which I've drawn all this good luck and, and, and an understanding of the human condition. And that was Rain Man. And, um, and Remember Sunday is in that same vein. You know, it comes from that same pool. It's uh, not one person with an injury, it's two. And that's, that's the the healing myth, as it's referred to sometimes, that you know, there's different kind of damage that people sustain, it's emotional and physical 